This is the story of the Pooh Crew. It was 3.30 when my phone rang. The caller ID told me it was a fellow volunteer from RPAW, a beneficiary of Paws for Paws. There are four three-week-old kittens with upper respiratory infections at animal control. They'll be euthanized at five if we can't find a foster home for them. I went to visit the kittens at animal control. I'd never seen a litter so sick. My instincts told me to turn around and just walk away. I couldn't stand the thought of taking them home, getting emotionally invested, and then losing them. But they definitely would not make it if we didn't try. The next several weeks were extremely difficult. Each kitten had its own set of problems. They had to be manually fed every two hours. They needed medical treatment, which included antibiotics, eye drops, ointments, canine serum, and a host of other remedies. While caring for and falling in love with them, I thought about what I would name each of them. The white one with the black spot on his face reminded me of a sweet little piglet. There was another who had tabby stripes in his brown spots. He would be Tigger, of course. My strong one was Rue, and Eeyore would be for the smallest kitten whose head always seemed to be hanging low. Miraculously, each member of the Pooh Crew overcame tremendous odds and are happy and healthy. These four boys have thrived in their foster home with a large dog, other cats, and children. They are very social and they love to snuggle and run after toys. Just open a can of wet food and watch the stampede as they come running. We are so glad we were able to give them a chance to grow up and are anxious for them to find their forever homes. This is the story of Riley. The terribly matted little Lassa Apso mix lay on the cold cement floor at the St. Paul Animal Control Impound Facility. He could not see because there was so much matted hair on his face and on his head. He lay so still we thought he might be very old and unable to move. Or we thought he might be in too much pain from his matted coat to move. His left rear foot was obviously injured, but that was all we could tell. Every time we visited him, he was laying in the same spot. Finally, his impound time was up and no one had come forward to claim him. Second Chance Animal Rescue, one of our beneficiaries, came to save his life. Outside of the kennel, his angel from Second Chance sat down on the floor and talked to him. She lifted the hair from his eyes and finally, two bright brown eyes looked out from under the mats. He trotted along out to the car that would drive him to a better life. He was named Riley, and his first stop was the groomer, where they promptly started shaving the mats from his face and head so he could see. Riley slowly transformed into a different dog. His tail even started wagging. Then, they gently started to shave the large mat off his injured foot and found a rubber band going directly through his foot. It had been there a long time, causing a hole through his palm. In the process of shaving his paw, the rubber band was cut, allowing it to be pulled out through the bottom of his paw. After grooming, Riley went directly to our vet where his foot was treated. The next day, he was vaccinated, heartworm tested, wormed, and neutered. And throughout everything, he never complained and never tried to bite, and instead, he gave kisses freely. He was aged to two and a half years old, and he is now a very happy, bouncy little guy, enjoying his foster home and a life free of pain. Because of your donations, Riley and others like him have a second chance at life. 